It's a real challenge because you're torn between the love you have for the person and the frustration that caregiving brings about. There are few reprieves from an all-consuming labor of love and obligation, and no escape from the mixed emotions that come with it. Our afternoon stroll. Rafaela Cori has been taking care of her mother Maria since last June. A recent stroke and worsening dementia mean her mom has to live with her and can't be left alone. I'm emotionally exhausted all the time. I think depression sets in because you, you don't know what the answer is. You don't know where the end of the tunnel is. You think end of the tunnel and you think, oh my God, what am I saying here? You know, in terms of I want this to end, but I don't want it to end badly for her. Growing stress among unpaid caregivers is an alarming reality. A new Ontario study of 110,000 caregivers found a third experienced distress, anger, or depression. That rate has doubled since 2009, leaving a third of those caregivers so burned out they are unable to continue in the role. What's going on here? How could it be going up so fast? Dr. Joshua Tepper is the lead author of the report. You've got a lot more people who are needing caregivers. Those individuals who are needing it are a lot older, but also a lot sicker a lot more dementia, a lot more physical frailty, and the caregiver is just increasingly hitting the wall. Tepper says the report underscores how imminent the growing crisis is. An aging population is expected to add to the pressure on a health care system and on families who increasingly shoulder the burden of care. Corey gets some help a couple of hours a day. The rest of the time, it's just her. Worrying about, is she well? Am I doing the right thing? Uh, should I be doing more? Uh, feeling the frustration of watching her go downhill, feeling the, the uh, anxiety of, of her getting worse, and then the whole mortality thing is in your face all the time. Her mortality, and then it brings up, oh my God, what's going to happen to me someday? That struggle is usually private. But the devotion behind it was on display this evening. Corey's among the many at an event honoring caregivers and the burden they so often carry alone. Joanna Rumeliotis, CBC News, Toronto.